Uh, ever wondered why success seems elusive to some while others seem to have it all figured out? As we make our way through life's winding maze, this question often nips at our heels. Today, we're embarking on a fascinating journey, a countdown of sorts, to unravel the mystery behind this disparity. Now, don't get your knickers in a twist. This isn't an exercise in finger-pointing, but rather an attempt to shed light on habits and attitudes that may inadvertently be holding you back. It's an invitation to take a candid look at oneself, to see if you might be unwittingly embodying any of the characteristics we'll be discussing. Think of it as a gentle nudge, a check under the bonnet, if you will, to help you steer clear of potential pitfalls on your way to success. So, fasten your seatbelts and brace yourselves as we dive into the top 10 things unsuccessful people do that successful people don't. Ranked at number 10, unsuccessful people are often found indulging in television. They tend to ignore the habit of setting goals or planning for their future, preferring to lose themselves in the realm of entertainment. Now, let's delve into the effects of indulging in television. These indulgences, dear listeners, distract us from the path of success and cloud our vision, leading us astray in the turbulent skies of life. They never provide a clear vision, and their sole purpose is to distract us. Picture this, an archer engrossed in a soap opera, a sailor glued to a sports match, or a writer engrossed in reality TV. Sounds unfocused, right? That's precisely what our lives become when we let television dictate our time and attention. We become like a leaf in the wind, allowing the gales of procrastination to shift us, us off course. The danger of excessive television is that it robs us of our sense of direction, purpose and motivation to greet each day with a rejuvenated spirit. So if you're spending more time in front of the television than planning your life's aims, you're already lagging behind. Coming in at number nine, unsuccessful people tend to rise late. They do not grasp the importance of the early morning hours to enhance productivity. Ladies and gentlemen, it's essential to comprehend that being an early riser is a fundamental aspect of the journey to success. The world's most influential innovators, entrepreneurs and leaders didn't achieve their extraordinary feats by sleeping in late. Quite the opposite. They understood that the early morning hours are ripe with opportunity for growth and learning. They knew that starting their day early gives them a head start, a chance to plan their day and tackle tasks with a fresh mind. They also understood that it's not just about waking up early, but about utilizing that time effectively. After all, each moment wasted is a potential lesson lost, a stepping stone left unturned. So if you've been hitting snooze on your alarm, maybe it's time to change things up. As the saying goes, the early bird catches the worm. Number eight on our list, unsuccessful individuals will often place the blame on others. They stumble and fall, but instead of acknowledging their own mistakes, they choose to hold others responsible. Rather than learning from their missteps, they get caught up in the blame game, viewing their mistakes as someone else's fault rather than as an opportunity for personal growth. On the flip side, successful individuals perceive their blunders differently. They view them not as roadblocks, but as detours that guide them towards success. They don't repeat their mistakes. Instead, they learn from them, using their failures as their best teachers. So, next time we stumble, let's not point fingers. Instead, let's use the experience as a stepping stone towards a more successful path. Remember, mistakes are pathways to success when we take responsibility for them. At number seven, unsuccessful people commonly lack savings. Quite an interesting situation, isn't it? Savings are as essential as the morning sunrise, yet some people treat it like an unimportant matter, always spending freely. Successful people, however, view savings as a golden ticket. It's an opportunity to accumulate wealth, secure the future, and achieve financial independence. They modify their spending habits, they budget, they save. Much like a strategic game of chess, they understand that financial stability requires careful planning and they adjust their spending accordingly. Unsuccessful people, on the other hand, don't understand the importance of savings. 
They hold on tightly to their immediate gratification, what feels good now, what is instantly rewarding. But in doing so, they limit their financial growth. They become spendthrift, extravagant in their habits, unable to harness the power of compound interest. It's as though they're trying to fill a leaking bucket with water. So the message to take away here, my dear friends, is clear. Save and invest wisely or risk financial instability. Next, at number six on our countdown, unsuccessful people frequently use credit cards and take loans. These individuals do not exercise financial caution or mindfulness. Everyone has the same opportunity to build wealth, but the manner in which they use their resources, particularly credit, varies widely. Successful people are incredibly skilled at managing their finances, strategically planning their spending and investments with care and foresight. They realize that every dollar squandered on credit interest and loan repayments is a dollar lost from their wealth accumulation. They don't just allow their financial situation to get out of their control, they take firm charge and steer it towards their goals. They are the maestros of their own financial symphony, meticulously coordinating their expenses and income to create a rhythm of wealth accumulation. They understand that money, once wasted, can rarely be regained in full. It's not a bottomless pit, it's an asset that needs careful management. So, remember, financial recklessness spares no one. Use your resources wisely. Halfway through our list, at number five, unsuccessful people often skip their medical checkups. They forgo the need for regular health assessments, don't read up on medical advice, attend health workshops, and don't seek out medical professionals. They prefer staying stagnant in their health routine rather than challenging their habits and expanding their wellness horizons. They lack the understanding that health is in constant flux and failing to keep up leads to health risks. They don't ask health-related questions, don't seek medical answers and don't challenge unhealthy conventions. They are the ones who neglect their health, not realizing that the more they know about their body, the more they can prevent potential disease. They fail to understand that medical knowledge is their passport to a healthier life. So remember, knowledge is power. Never stop learning about your health. Sliding into the fourth spot, unsuccessful individuals tend to spend their earnings even before they receive them. This doesn't imply they have to be a millionaire or a wise investor. Instead, it's about disciplined budgeting, prudent investing and well-planned saving. They often overlook these fundamental factors. These elements not only stabilize financial status, but also breed the confidence, peace of mind and security needed to pursue one's ambitions assertively. Remember, financial fitness is essential, the foundation of all achievements. Without a stable financial ground, all the success in the world means nothing. Experiencing consistent financial stress or debt can overshadow the joy of your accomplishments. Thus, here's a friendly reminder. Your financial health is your most important investment and taking care of it is crucial. The dividends of good financial health? Well, they're priceless. Take care of your finances. It's your most valuable asset. At number three, unsuccessful people often surround themselves with other unsuccessful individuals. They don't tend to seek out positive influences like friends or mentors. Reflect on this. Who are the people you spend most of your time with? Are they boosting your spirits and fueling optimism? Or do they drain your energy and fill your mind with pessimism? It's a bitter reality to accept, isn't it? Here's a window into the world of the successful. They are remarkably meticulous about who they let into their inner circle. They prefer to associate with those who challenge them, inspire them and push them to set the bar higher. These are the individuals who emanate positivity, foster growth, and are open to offering and accepting constructive criticism when called for. Remember this, your environment has a significant influence on your mindset and actions. If you're perpetually surrounded by negativity, it's inevitably going to infiltrate your thoughts and your actions. So choose your circle with care, dear listener, and remember, you are the cumulative effect of the five people you spend the most time with. Just missing the top spot at number two, unsuccessful people frequently have a sense of entitlement, expecting assistance from others. They do not grasp the concept of self-reliance, nor do they appreciate the aid they receive. 
Entitlement isn't simply about demanding help. It's a lack of recognition for the positive aspects of self-effort and personal growth, which can significantly alter your mentality and hence the path of your life. Successful individuals understand this. They are aware that self-reliance allows them to focus on their strengths rather than their weaknesses. It's a routine, a habit, a lifestyle. Valuing what you can achieve on your own magnifies the favorable elements and diminishes the effects of the unfavorable ones. It's a kind of enchantment indeed. It's the gateway to prosperity, to identifying the opportunities that life offers and to nurturing a hopeful, robust mentality. Exhibiting self-reliance is indeed a shared characteristic among successful people. They know, and we all should too, that relying on oneself makes what we have sufficient. And finally at number one, unsuccessful people rarely follow through on their ideas. This is the core of all their failures. It's the shaky ground on which their fortress of aspiration stands. Without the determination to chase their ideas, every effort, every enterprise, every dream can fall like a castle of sand. Successful people, on the other hand, are characterized by their persistence in implementing their ideas. They believe with all their heart that they can make their ideas a reality, and they do just that. This isn't just about staying positive, but a profound commitment, a spark that ignites all their actions. When you follow through on your ideas, you unlock a power that can move mountains. It's a beacon that guides you through the darkest nights, a shield that protects you from the harshest criticisms. So, dear friends, if there's one thing you should take away from this list, it's this. Follow through on your ideas. Make them a reality. Believe in your power to transform those dreams into actuality. Trust in yourself and the world will be at your feet.